the show is the predecessor for Rent. There's been a resurgence in the last couple of years where they've done it on Broadway, they've done it on Off-Broadway. Why would we rather put ourselves through hell? Bringing the show to Ottawa for the first time is incredibly exciting, very scary, really, really exhilarating. I feel like this is the first time that this kind of musical has been brought to Ottawa. That is Andy Allen McCarthy talking about the upcoming production, Tick, Tick, Boom. Love it. Uh, and he joins us right now. He plays John in this Orpheus Musical Theatre production. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are good you? Good to have you back on the show. Thank you. And uh, Gordon Guest is here as well. You're the Artistic Director. Yes. It's a very fancy title. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that. Very fancy. Uh, Andy, great to have you back on the show. Last time you were here, we were promoting... Um, a catch, catch me if you, you can. can. And I had a chance to see that at Centre Point Theatre. Incredible. Thank the you. The talent that comes out of this guy, it's, it's definitely <laughs> worth the price of admission. Uh, Gordon, tell us about Tick, Tick, Boom. What is this all about? That's pretty, it's pretty, I don't know, scary is the word for the title? Oh, it sounds scary, yeah. yeah. But it, it's it's a basically about a birthday and uh, more importantly about a 30th birthday. And uh, I don't know uh, if you've had your 30th birthday or not, uh, huh. but right. <laughs> okay. But uh, when you, uh, when I was turning 30, I was looking back on my life and seeing whether whether I'm on the right path. And this, uh, the Tick Tick Boom, is about that storyline of whether uh, John, who's the lead character, who is also a co uh, co composer, mm -hmm. uh, is deciding on whether to keep being a composer or should he become a marketing director or start a family. So mm -hmm. it's more of that expo uh, exploring your passion or trying to uh, meet expectations of life. So, And uh, so, so where was this play originally created? It was created by the, um, the author of Rent, mm -hmm. um, Jonathan Larson, uh, who died on the, uh, the opening night of Rent. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, his fa family and friends created this uh, this show uh, uh, based on a solo performance that he did uh, six years old, uh, six years previous to his death, mm -hmm. and so they gathered up all the music there and then made a, a three person show, um, and uh, so this is it. And it, it was, I think it was six years after uh, his death, he uh, they put this on for the first time. Okay, and Andy, tell us what it's like to play the character of John. It's great. Yeah. It's really intimidating because you are playing Jonathan Larson, so you are playing the title person. It's 90 minutes of back-to-back -back songs, back-to-back -back monologues. Um, there's no intermission. Um, there's a lot of weight in the show itself. It touches on a lot of different aspects of living in New York in the 90s, how all of those different aspects of that time were hard to grab with. and. Um, it's good. It's really interesting, and I have a great cast. So, uh, Andrea Black, who plays my girlfriend in it, is incredible. She's an Orpheus through and through. Mm -hmm. And then Kenny Hayes has also done performances with Orpheus as well, and he's incredible as well. And we all have merged really well. It's yeah, really I couldn't nice. have asked for a better cast. Okay. Amazing. Uh, how often have you directed at Orpheus? Actually, this is my first time. Your first time. Uh, uh, Orpheus has been uh, kind. I've been uh, with Orpheus for about 25 years, yeah. and I've been Chorus Boy number four for a, lo a lot of <laughs> that. Did you but ever make it to Chorus Boy three? Yeah, no, no. no. Just four? <laughs> There's tap involved. I'm, I, I can't do that. <laughs> um, but uh, I, over the years, I've been uh, slowly going on the other side of the table. Uh, I was produced, I helped produce Rent, uh, so uh, I, I got the uh, bug to do this yeah. uh, from that uh, um, experience. That's so, great. Yeah. And you have some uh, talented musicians as well uh, in, the, in this. Yes, uh, we have uh, one of the wonderful things about uh, Orpheus shows is that we have uh, um, professional musicians play, so it allows us to have a very good quality of music mm -hmm. and it supports uh, the talent that we have on stage. So. Okay. Can you, can you explain to me, Andy, what a, a black box musical is? Yeah, so if you imagine the earliest of the off-Broadway shows, it's a black box. Black curtain, black stage, black set. It's you're literally watching the actors portray the show themselves, doing it without any of the flash and the um, circumstance and pomp of all of everything else that you see with yeah. a, big, a big show, a big production show. So it's really brought back down to the basics. Orpheus is known for their big main stage shows at Center Point, mm -hmm. and they're a bit more like what you'd see on Broadway. And uh, so, with the Black Box uh, Theater at uh, Center Point, it's the new studio space. Mm -hmm. Orpheus is taking advantage of that, so we can do the smaller uh, shows, which seem to be more 
uh, coming out more these days. There's more smaller musicals, and, and Orpheus ex is exploring those uh, that genre of musical. Mm -hmm. And Orpheus has been around since 1906. So yes, yes. I, I think you guys know what you're doing at this point. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keeping your fingers crossed. <laughs> is it difficult to just be one of three actors in, a, in an hour and a half long uh, show? Yeah, it's yeah. incredibly hard. It's um, challenging because the songs themselves are challenging. It's challenging because I leave the stage once. <laughs> wow. Um, it's challenging because you, the content of the show itself is really, really quite challenging. I mean, the HIV AIDS epidemic was really rampant in the 90s in New York, so it plays quite heavily in it, which is also featured quite a lot in Rent. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of you see a lot of rent within Tick, Tick, Boom. Okay, and not many, uh, Gordon, not many uh, chances to see this. No, it's only running for five uh, day, uh, five nights, yeah. So okay. it's from uh, September 20th to the 24th at Center Point Theatre in the studio space. That's incredible. Well, we look forward to this because the stuff that Orpheus puts out, always incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I hope one day you can you can be choir boy at least, uh, or guest <laughs> boy. <laughs> course boy. Course boy. <laughs> course number boy, number two at least. Like, okay, well, but okay. directing a musical is pretty decent as well. Yes, so Gordon yes. Guest, thank you very much for being here. And of course, Andy Allen McCarthy, thank you and best of luck. Thank you. This amazing production. Uh, we've got more coming up. Uh, speaking of productions, Vintage Stock Theatre joins us in moments right after our calendar.